Now these isomers have specific names. This, I'm not drawing the hydrogens, is butane. But when we are speaking in terms of isomers, its name changes to N-butane. Because all the isomers of butane are butane only. They are not pentane or hexane or propane. They are the same they have the same formula, so all of them should be called butane. But still they are different, so they should be given some different names. So this has an N added to its name. This is called N-butane. And this compound is called isobutane. Speaking more generally, N something, N butane, N pentane, or anything, refers to the straight chain. And ISO refers to, this can be anything, refers to the fact that you have taken the end carbon and put it on the second carbon of the chain. So, if you name this carbon 1, 2, 3 and 4, you have taken 4 and put it at 2 or you have taken 1 and put it at 3 because if you take 1 you see if you take the numbers from that side this becomes 1 this becomes 2 this becomes 3 this becomes 4 so you take the right end carbon and put it on the second carbon so iso means the end carbon is shifted to carbon number 2. So, N-butane and isobutanes, isobutane are the names of the two isomers of butane. Butane cannot have more than two isomers. See, because you can take this, if you take this here, it will be the same compound. If you take this here, then you get isobutane. If you take this here, then you get again the straight chain butane. See? Take it here, you get again the straight chain butane. So, butane has two isomers. Or you should say two structural isomers. And pentane, now this would obviously be called n-pentane since it's a straight chain. Now, you take this carbon, shift it to the 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, take the end carbon and shift it to the second carbon. You can shift it to 3 also over here because it will make the same compound as I told. You flip it and you name this 1, 2, 3, 4 and this will get attached to 3. So. For the time being, you do this. Take this carbon, put it on the 2 carbon. So, 
this will now not remain n pentane this will become isopentane since we have shifted the end carbon to carbon number 2 so the suff prefix should be iso so it's isopentane now you take this 4 carbon and this 2 you shift it to 2 Now when there are two carbons on the single carbon which is present in the chain, this is the chain now, you know uh, the chain, if you did not understand what is meant by the chain, the chain refers to the longest carbon chain in the compound. So here in N pentane the longest there was only one chain, there were no branching, and this was the longest carbon chain. In isopentane, this is also a chain. But this is not the chain which we are talking about. When we talk about the chain, we talk about the longest chain which is this. Here also, this can also be the chain and this can also be the chain. Both are equivalent because you just rotate this and you get this as the chain. So, that's, that's equal, I mean. It's just the same thing, calling this the chain and calling this the chain to give rise to the same compound. So, in this, when one carbon has two carbons or two CH3s, we see later that these are called methyl groups. When one carbon has two CH3s on it and that carbon should be present in the chain. So we give it the name neopentane. So by Neo, we mean two carbons on one carbon of the chain. So, we got N iso as well as Neo for pentane, but we got only N and iso for butane. Butane could not have formed a neobutane or sort of a thing. So for pentane, we get three structural isomers. Now, let's see some examples.